Hi there, Pickens View Wesleyan Church family and friends. I'm Pastor Paul and welcome to What's What at Pickens View for the week of October 4th, 2020. We continue to get your commitments uh, in the church through the mail and some are dropping them by the office uh, for our faith promise pledges. Our goal this year for our missions budget is $29,620. And as of this week, we have commitments for $19,517. So we're just about $10,000 away from our goal. And we do realize that it's taking us a little bit longer to go through this process with um, many of our folks being apart from us and not being able to be in church for worship. So please just do your best to let us know what your commitments are uh, for the next seven months and to either send it in the mail, drop it by the church office, or you can bring it to church and just put it in the offering containers while you're there. We would like to say a great big thank you to Denise Bailey, Michelle Guerreri, and Gina Edwards for all of their hard work in planning the outdoor reception for Pastor Sherry after both services last week uh, for Pastor Sherry's ordination. Everything was beautiful and uh, it was a great time to celebrate and I want to thank the church family for stopping by and supporting Pastor Sherry and Shane in this ministry process. We had a volunteer crew uh, at work last weekend with Rebuild Upstate in the town of Easley. They were able to install a ramp and several handrails around the property, as well as some outdoor lighting for a family that was in need. And I want to express our appreciation to Pastor Randy Clay, Sherry Steele, Steve Zebolt, Corey Guerreri, Bubba Trotter, Eddie Greer, Francis Wilson, and Mark Ingrick. We want to thank you folks for volunteering your time and your abilities with Rebuild Upstate, and even more than that, for sharing the love and light of Christ in our community. We want to express our love and concern and prayers and deepest sympathy for Wayne and Marjorie Cruz. This week on Monday evening, uh, Wayne's sister Priscilla Stacy passed away in, in Indiana, and we want to express to them how much we love them and care about them during this time when we can't be together. This has been a pretty difficult time for the Pruses, like for many of us during this time of the coronavirus where plans have been put on hold and many things have been a disappointment, but this is especially difficult for the Pruses that they cannot travel back to Indiana to be present at the funeral and to be able to go through this time with their family. So let's continue to lift them up in prayer and to pray for all of their extended family. And Wayne and Marjorie are like a lot of our folks that are 65 plus. Um, they are trying to be very cautious with exposure to the virus. And so we haven't seen them for several months, uh, but in conversations with them, they let me know that um, they have to watch uh, other folks on line that are family members that are in the ministry and they watch those services but pickens v wesleyan is also one of the services they watch each week online and we just want the Pruses to know that we have missed them dearly at church but they are also uh, deeply loved by their church family we want to say thank you to pastor landon and all of the youth sponsors and youth who on wednesday night listened to christmas music and assembled over a hundred uh, Samaritan's Purse Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. So we want you to know that the shoe boxes are available uh, starting this week uh, in the foyer. And you can pick those up. Every box contains all of the information and the labels that you need to know what can and cannot go into a box and how to properly pack it. November 15th is our shoe box Sunday. All shoe boxes must come back to Pickens View Wesleyan Church that week so that we can get them off to the distribution center later that week. This is Pastor Appreciation Month. You know at Pickens v. Wesleyan Church, God has truly blessed us with all of our staff. And I, I thank God for allowing me to be your senior pastor, but also for Pastor Sherry, Pastor Randy, Pastor Heath, Pastor Landon, and Pastor Natasha. I appreciate their faithfulness to God and serving Him, but also the love and the leadership that they are providing for our congregation. So I just ask you to take some time this month to express to uh, all of our pastors how much you love and appreciate what they do for Pickens v. Wesleyan Church.
So starting in the month of October, we're continually opening up some more things. And in the area of children, in the 1030 service, we will be having nursery care starting this week. And you can check your child in the front of the foyer at either self-check-in station and then go down towards the nursery hall and a volunteer will meet you to take your child to the nursery. Preschool and elementary children's churches will now meet at the 1030 hour for the complete hour. And the kiddos are really looking forward to that. Uh, they enjoy children's church. And so parents, make sure you get there just a little bit early to get them checked in. We will be taking temperatures in the foyer and we ask that all kids wear masks uh, once they enter the hallways and they go to their classrooms. This Wednesday night, we are gearing up for children again. The youth have been meeting for a couple of months. Uh, the only difference is the youth service will start at 615 and go to 745. It's a half hour longer. It's because we're going to be running the bus twice uh, to give us a social distance room on the bus. All uh, children and teens must wear a mask when they're on the bus and we will take their temperature uh, before they get on and we will plan to feed everyone pizza like we typically do on Wednesday nights. So uh, I know the kids have missed being in church and we have surely missed them. So this Wednesday night, everything starts up. If you are bringing your kids to Wednesday night, uh, the youth go to the youth building, um, but the children are going to actually meet in the fellowship hall, the larger building, uh, so that we can spread out more while we're eating and have fewer kids at each table. So we hope to see you this Wednesday night. This week for Who's Who at Pickens View, I wanted to focus on Wednesday night ministry and our youth ministry. I wanna express our appreciation to Mike Hayes, who is also our vice chairman of our LBA, our local board of administration. And he gives a lot of leadership and support to the pastoral staff, but also to the church in general. What I like most about Mike is that he has a heart for our church and for our community. He longs to see us reach into our community and love folks to Jesus Christ and that they would come to know Jesus and the gospel. So Mike drives for us every Wednesday night and helps us to get all of the children and youth to church. We could not have a successful Wednesday night without Mike driving the bus. The problem is our bus is over 15 passenger, so it requires a CDL license with a passenger endorsement. So I just want to throw out there, as much as Mike is faithful and committed to us, there is an occasion when he's got city council meetings or other things and he can't be there on a Wednesday night. And very quickly, our, our Wednesday night ministry is scrambling. Uh, we have too many kids to pick up in vehicles and it's a liability issue. We are really needing some other folks who have the passenger endorsement or who are willing to get that to step up and help us with our bus ministry. Uh, there are other groups that would love to take trips and often we have to hire bus drivers to take our youth places. So if you can help out with our bus ministry, Mike would be thrilled to know that he's got a backup to help him and it would be a great blessing uh, to our ministries on Wednesday night. I want you to get to know our youth uh, ministry team just a little bit better. Here you will see in the picture on the left side is Pastor Heath Mulliken. He's our pastor of technology, but he also supports a lot of our ministries and especially Pastor Landon with youth ministry. Uh, he's also taking over all my responsibilities for the bus ministry, which I greatly appreciate. Uh, behind him is Pastor Landon, and he serves as our pastor of children and youth. And if you look across the picture, uh, you'll see Shelby, his wife, uh, who will be helping actually with the children starting next week on Wednesdays. Uh, beh behind Pastor Landon is Gina Edwards. And Gina has been faithful to our youth group for years. Uh, she loves our kids, and she does so much for them, and we love Miss Gina. Next to Miss Gina, you will see Sally and Mark Ingrick. They too have been serving in many capacities in the church, but alongside our youth uh, for many years. And we appreciate the stability and the support that they continually give uh, the youth ministry. Uh, next to Mark is Richard Tysinger. He's from Southern Wesleyan. He is a sophomore ministry major 
uh, who started coming this fall. Uh, he's also been helping out by playing the keyboard for the worship team. So we're thrilled to have um, Richard on board with us. And next to Richard, that's where you'll see Shelby Davis poking her head in the picture there. Uh, that's Pastor Landon's wife, and she serves alongside Pastor Landon. But while she does that, she is still attending Southern Wesleyan University herself uh, to complete her elementary education degree. In front of her is Christian Collier. Now, Christian has been a part of our church family for several years now. She graduated a few years ago from Southern Wesleyan University. She plays on the worship team on Sundays, and she helps lead the youth worship team, and she assists with youth on Wednesday nights, and she jumps on and helps us on the bus uh, when we need extra help. In the middle of our picture, you'll see Tori Bailey, who is a Southern Wesleyan sophomore student this year, and she's one of our own. She is the daughter of Denise and Junior Bailey. Tori just switched her major last semester to worship ministry, as she has been sensing God calling her into ministry. So we applaud that and are so thrilled to watch her grow in her call to ministry. Next to Tori is Alyssa Elliott. Uh, we've introduced you to her uh, a few weeks ago. She's a sophomore youth and children's ministry major at Southern Wesleyan University, and she is doing her practicum uh, with us this semester as part of her education requirement for her ministry degree at Southern Wesleyan University. We appreciate having her on board. We're so thankful for this group who serve and love and minister to our students every week. So please keep this group in prayer, our leaders and our youth ministry as a whole as we strive to lead these students to Christ and in a deeper walk with him. In just a month, on November 1st, we'll be having a Best Year's Fellowship Luncheon. Now, Best Year's Fellowship is for those folks 55 and older so we want to encourage you to be a part. This is something that Kay Bolding helps sponsor each fall, and it'll be immediately following the 1030 service, or if you're attending the adult Sunday school class in the fellowship hall, that's where we will be meeting. And we just want to encourage you that we are going to do our best to uh, make sure that there's plenty of social distance, that folks are wearing masks, and that we're doing everything possible to make it an event that you can feel comfortable to attend. I know many of you have not seen folks from the church for a long time, and if you just want to slip in for lunch and you don't feel comfortable coming to church, you can come to the back of the fellowship hall and just contact the pastors and we'll help you uh, be a part of that luncheon that day. So as we wrap up today, I just want to remind you that with all of the social distancing protocols, we're going to continue this fall with two services and limited uh, children's ministries. So it will only be taking place for children during the 1030 service. If your children come at 930, they will remain in the service with you. Um, if you are interested in working with our children or our youth or our nurseries, we are always looking for help. And if that's some area that you might be interested in, I ask that you just indicate that on your communication card or email the church office or just call one of the pastors. So our kiddos are looking forward to coming back next Wednesday. And as I called parents this week to explain the bus route, uh, moms were letting me know that their kids are pretty excited. We have missed them. And I wanna ask you to pray for our kids. You know, we as adults, we have gone through some pretty stressful times with the coronavirus pandemic. But to be honest, we can't fully comprehend how much stress our children have been under. Uh, to be out of school last spring uh, till the end of the year, and now so many of our kids are struggling with online learning and being at school part-time and home part-time, it's just a very stressful time. And there are a lot of other things that are affecting our children, so let's pray for them. Pray that we'll have an extra dose of love and as we reach out to them and minister to them starting this Wednesday. So we're hoping that the virus situation will continue to decline as we go further into the fall. I know there's flu season and cold season and other normal sicknesses that we face, but we're hoping and praying that coronavirus will continue to decline. So with that in mind, we are pressing forward to make plans for the live nativity. It is seems to be the outreach that God has placed on our hearts 
and is so effective in our community. So we are making plans, but we're being cautious. We're, we're looking ahead to see what's happening and how we can best plan. But I just want you to know in the next few weeks, you will see information about recruiting volunteers. And this is an all hands on deck uh, event for us. Uh, last year, we had over 100 volunteers involved in the nativity, whether you helped fill cups with hot chocolate, uh, weeks, uh, a couple weeks before, or you helped bag cookies, or you helped take care of animals, or you wore a costume. There are so many different ways to be involved. We are going to need your help. So um, I hope you will sign up because if you don't, uh, in a loving way, Pastor Paul will just hunt you down. So I, I want to encourage you to get involved. It is so much fun to spend time with God's people and loving our community. There is no better way to get connected at Pickens View Wesleyan Church. I do want to ask you to continue to pray and lift up the church. Uh, financially, we're doing uh, pretty well. You have been so faithful to your church and to the congregation, and I want to thank you for that. But our church folks are still struggling. We've had so many deaths related to our church family. We have folks that are dealing with a continuing uh, health crisis, and then we have folks that are dealing with other troubling situations as a whole. So there's a lot of stress, and I'm trying to check in with people. Our staff, the staff is trying to check in with people as well. What I want to ask you to do is keep praying and lifting up the church family. And also, if God puts someone on your heart and mind, would you reach out and connect with them with a card or a call or a text? And let's take care of the body and check up on one another. So I just want to encourage you to keep faithful this week. I want you to know that I love our church family and it's a privilege to serve. So let's continue to love the Father and follow him and uh, follow the plans that he has for us at Pickens View Wesleyan Church. We hope you have a great week.